know, welcome to today's video. I'm gonna be sharing with you all my Instant Pot Chicken Noodle Soup recipe. And if you guys have been around for a while, I actually shared an Instant Pot Chicken Noodle Soup recipe about three years ago. It's one of my most popular videos on my YouTube channel with over 100,000 views. I still get comments to this day of you guys sharing how much you love that recipe. So I will leave the link to that one down below, but I have since improved the recipe. I've added some things, I've changed some things, and this new recipe is out of this world. If you guys loved my original one, you are absolutely gonna love this one. So let's get right into my new and improved Instant Pot Chicken Noodle Soup. So first thing I like to start with is prepping out all of the ingredients. So we're gonna chop up some carrot, and then we're going to chop up some celery, and we're gonna do some fresh herbs. Get this soup nice and flavorful. So I must say that chicken noodle soup is by far my favorite fall winter recipe. When I think of soup, I think of chicken noodle soup. It is so flavorful. I know growing up, we always had chicken noodle soup when we were sick, but I personally just love having it. It has so much good flavor, it's healthy, and it's also the most amazing thing to have when you're feeling under the weather. The amazing thing about this recipe is after you have all of your vegetables prepped out, it really is a breeze to put this soup together. You can buy your vegetables already chopped if that's what you want to do. I personally love chopping up mine at home. It's just really relaxing and also having this vegetable chopper makes things go by so much faster. So now that we have our vegetables chopped up, this is a huge change to my recipe. I switched from using chicken breast to chicken thighs, and you guys, it makes a world of a difference with the flavor. Highly recommend using chicken thighs. I just can't describe it, but it takes this recipe to a whole nether level. I will never use chicken breast again. So you wanna start by seasoning both sides of your chicken thighs with salt and pepper. So just like that, we have all of our ingredients prepped out and we are ready to get started on the soup. So go ahead and pull out your Instant Pot. You want to turn it on the saute mode, add about a tablespoon of some olive oil, and we're going to be browning both sides of our chicken thighs. So I like to brown my chicken thighs for about two to three minutes on each side. Don't worry about cooking the inside of it because it is going to finish cooking in the soup. You really just want to get both sides slightly charred. So once the chicken's charred on both sides, go ahead and put it on a plate, set it aside, and now it is time to cook our veggies. Cooking your vegetables first before just adding everything to the Instant Pot brings out so much additional flavor. So if you need to add a little bit more olive oil, definitely do that. I still had a lot left over from the chicken. So we're going to brown the onion until it's translucent, and then you're gonna go ahead and add in your carrots and celery. And you just wanna cook these for about two to three minutes until they're slightly softened. Mm -hmm. 
Now we're gonna be mincing some garlic cloves and you just wanna add this to the veggies and cook the garlic until it's fragrant. So now it's time to season up our soup. So I like to start light with my seasoning. Keep in mind, you can always add more seasoning, but you can't take seasoning away. So I always go on the lighter side. You can always add more when the soup is done. So I am seasoning up the soup with salt, pepper, and I'm also using some fresh herbs. Highly recommend using fresh herbs. It just takes this recipe to the next level. Then you wanna add a splash of some chicken stock and take your spoon and scrape up any of those brown bits that's at the bottom of your Instant Pot, that is gonna prevent you from getting that burn signal. So that step is very important. Add your chicken thighs back in and then go ahead and add the remainder of your chicken stock. And don't forget to add your bay leaves. That is gonna give everything so much amazing flavor. Pop your top on your Instant Pot, make sure it is on ceiling, and go ahead and set it for seven minutes. So once the seven minute timer went off, I let the soup sit for 10 minutes and then I did a manual release. Go ahead and remove those bay leaves and take your chicken thighs out and you're gonna be setting that aside. We're gonna be shredding the chicken later on. Once you have your chicken removed, turn your Instant Pot on the saute mode, let it get nice and bubbly, and then we're gonna be adding our egg noodles in. So the noodles take about seven to eight minutes to cook. Just constantly stir them around. And now's the time where you wanna go ahead and shred your chicken thighs. Make sure to remove all of the bones. And then once you have all of the bones removed, you can take two forks and everything will shred nicely. So now that our noodles are cooked, we're gonna go ahead and add our shredded chicken thighs back in. You can go ahead and power off the Instant Pot. And then once you have everything added in, you wanna give it a good stir. And then you wanna try it and see if you need any additional seasoning. Like I said, I like to start on the lighter side because you can always add more seasoning. So I'm just adding a little bit more salt and pepper. And that was all this recipe needed. It was so flavorful and absolutely amazing. And just like that, our homemade chicken noodle soup is all done. I know you guys will absolutely love this recipe. Top it with some fresh parsley and you are good to go. That is my new and improved Instant Pot Chicken Noodle Soup. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Definitely consider tagging me over on Instagram if you recreate it. I would love to see your recreations. And give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below and I'll be seeing you all very soon with a brand new video. Bye.